musicians. If my lessons have helped you in the past, I would love it if after learning this song, you jumped over to my Patreon and checked that out uh, and considered supporting me there. Or you can just think of it as leaving me a tip, helping me buy a new set of guitar strings if you want to. But no pressure, you're about to learn this song uh, irrespective right now. So I Think I'm Okay by Machine Gun Kelly is going to be played in drop D tuning. That means you take your sixth string and you lower it to a D from an E. But the drop D is pretty non-consequential to the opening riff that you're about to learn. It only becomes important as we move into the chord. So the opening riff will start with your second finger on the fourth string, fifth fret, and it will remain there throughout the entirety of the opening riff, and your pinky finger will go down on the third string, seventh fret. You'll pluck with your pick the fourth string, and then the third string, and then you'll pick up your pinky finger and put your first finger down on the third string, fourth fret now. You'll pluck that, you'll go back to the fifth string, or the fourth string that's still fretted, and then back to the third string. So, so far we've got... And then you'll open up the third string, and then you'll go hit again the fretted fourth string, and again the open third string. So we've got very slowly, that three times and then on the fourth time instead of going to your pinky finger on the third string seventh fret it changes and you use your ring finger on the third string fifth fret and it sounds like this so fifth string or I'm sorry fourth string fifth fret third string fifth fret third string fourth fret fourth string fifth fret third string fourth fret open third string, fourth string, fifth fret, third string open. And it just repeats like that over and over. Once we get to the verses, that part with the ring finger only happens like every seven times as opposed to on the fourth time. But that is the opening riff. Again, very, very slowly. piano comes in it's playing it's obviously not playing the exact same tone of chords as a guitar but the way to mimic that on a guitar is to play them this way so I've got my first finger it's a C chord by the way like C to E minor to D then C to G to D then C to E minor to D is what the chords are but the way that I'm playing them on guitar to mimic the sound of the piano is first finger on the fifth string third fret pinky finger on the second string fifth fret pluck just the fifth and the second strings there and then you're going to move your first finger up to the fifth string seventh fret and pinky finger gets moved up to the second string eighth fret that's your e minor and then for the d move your first finger down to the fifth string fifth fret pinky finger goes down to the second string seventh fret so that's the first round of chords c e minor d and then it goes same C chord all the way up to a G chord. So take this exact same spacing and shape and slide it up so that your first finger is on the fifth string 10th fret and your pinky finger is on the second string 12th fret. G chord, then back down to the D. And then again, C, E minor, D. And the fourth time it's gonna go A minor, B minor, E minor. The way that you do the A minor is I've got an open fifth string, I've got my second finger on the fourth string second fret, I've got an open third string, and I've got my first finger on the second string first fret, and I'm really just plucking the open five and the fretted two string uh, down with my thumb, up with my first finger there on those respective strings, but I've got the full A minor seven shape just out of habit. So that's the A minor, then the B minor, I put my second finger down on the fifth string second fret, and my pinky finger down on the third string third fret and of course use whatever uh, fingering formations are easiest for you but a minor b minor and then take this shape of the b minor and slide it up so that your uh, one finger i'm using my second finger here second finger fretting the fifth string seventh fret and pinky finger fretting the second string eighth fret 
from that point, the guitar riff, that, that kind of keeps droning throughout all of that, but then you've got chunkier guitar chords that come in that sound to me to be power chords on a C, E minor, e, uh, C, E minor, and then a D. And this is where the low drop D comes into effect. So the way that I'm playing the C chord is just a C power chord, my first finger on the uh, fifth string third fret, pinky finger on the fourth string fifth fret, and then to an E minor, I'm just barring with my first finger across the second fret of strings six, five, and four, and I'm palm muting down on those notes, and then opening up strings six, five, and four for a D chord. That's the first round. The second round goes C, G, D. So the C will be the same. The G will be just barring strings six, five, and four on the fifth fret, and then open up for a D. And then it goes C, E minor, D again, C, D, uh, or C, E minor, D again. And then the fourth time, it mimics what the piano did earlier and goes uh, A minor, B minor, E minor. And the way that I'm playing that in drop D tuning is come up and fret the uh, at least six and five strings, but probably six, five, and four strings on the seventh fret. Uh, so that's your A minor. Don't go full bar because obviously many more of those notes are not in the chord, but strings six, five, and four for the B minor, slide up two, or for the A minor rather, slide up two more frets for the B minor. So I'm now on the ninth fret of strings six, five, and four, and then back down to your E minor before it goes back into the standard first progression. So those are the chords and the movements for I Think I'm Okay by Machine Gun Kelly. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.